Hello and welcome to your yoga for energy class. We'll start standing with your feet hips width, hands by your sides, palms facing out. Start to shift your weight forwards and backwards. So bring your weight towards your toes and then back towards your heels. And just find a nice rocking rhythm here. Deepen your breath. Breathe in and out through your nose. And just notice what it feels like to shift forwards and back. start to slow down coming back into stillness draw your shoulders up towards your ears and slide them down your back open your chest inhale gaze over to the right side exhale through center inhale to the left exhale release inhale gaze over exhale Inhale to the other side. Lower your chin down to your chest. Inhale, reach your head all the way back. Exhale, release down. Inhale, gaze back. Exhale, release. We'll do this once more. And exhale through center. Inhale, reach your arms over your head, palms touch. Exhale, fold forwards, hinge through your hips. Bring your hands onto opposite elbows and find a sway from side to side. You can bend your knees as much as you would like to here. Just keep reaching your tailbone high. Release your arms. Inhale, gaze out in front of you, lengthen halfway. Exhale, roll all the way up, draw your belly in. Inhale, reach your arms over your head, palms touch. Exhale, your hands through heart center. Inhale, reach up, shift your hips back, bend your knees. Lower your hands onto your legs. Exhale, tuck your tailbone in and round your spine. Inhale, slide your hands up your thighs, find a little back bend, press your heart forwards. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift your gaze, look up. Move with your breath here at your own pace. Rounding as you breathe out and lifting your heart and your gaze as you breathe in. Exhale, release all the way down. Bend your left knee, press your left hand down. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Keep your right leg straight. Option to wrap your right arm around your low back, bringing your right hand to your left hip. Release your right hand down. Straighten your left leg, bend your right. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Keep pressing out of your right shoulder. Maybe wrap your arm around. And release, fold in. Inhale, lengthen halfway up. Exhale, roll all the way up. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, release through center. Place your hands to your hips and step out with your left leg to face the long ways of your mat. Bring your left toes out. Bring your right hip all the way to the right side. Reach your arms out wide and shift forwards. Keep reaching forwards with your left hand. When you can't reach forwards anymore, bring your left hand down either onto your shin, onto a block, or onto the mat and reach the right arm high. Keep bringing the right shoulder and the right hip back to open up your front body. If you feel like your back is kind of rounding here, you can slide your hand up your leg a little bit more so you keep some integrity in the spine, meaning that your back is nice and long and you're not collapsing. So you're just lifting through your right hand. 
Inhale, come all the way back up. Heel toe your right foot back to widen your stance and bend into your left knee. Warrior two. Make sure that your left knee and your ankle are in line and you can see all of your toes. Reach your arms out wide, gaze at your left fingertips. Exhale, release your right hand down your back leg, reach your left arm over. Breathe into this. Inhale, lengthen your spine, reach your arms out wide. Exhale, bring your left forearm to your left thigh and your right bicep towards your ear. Keep reaching through the right fingertips. Option to bring your left hand down onto the mat, or you can find a bind by bringing your right arm around. And you can meet your right fingertips with your left hand, bringing your left hand under your left leg. And wherever you are, just keep drawing your right shoulder back, open your chest. And whichever variation you choose to take, just make sure you feel good. Inhale, reach all the way back up. Place your hands onto your hips. Shift your hips to face the front of your mat. Hop your back foot in a little bit more so you can square your hips. Your right toes are about two o'clock on the dial. Reach your arms up, warrior one. Bring your right hip forwards and your left hip back. Keep reaching through your fingertips, feel your side body lengthening. Breathe into this. Straighten your front leg, bring your hands in through heart center. Maybe hop your back foot a little bit more forwards to help you balance. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, fold halfway down. Once you come to halfway, just check your alignment and come all the way down. Bring your forehead towards your knee. Draw your left hip up and your right hip down. You have the option to stay here or if you want to go deeper, you can come back up and bring your palms to touch behind your back or your fists and lower back down once again just bringing your forehead down letting your head be heavy inhale gaze out in front of you and come all the way up release your hands to your hips pivot to face the side of your mat bring your right toes to face the right side reach your arms out wide Shift your hips back, reach forward with your right hand, and slowly lower your right hand, reaching the left arm over this time. Bring your left hip and your left shoulder back. And keep pressing out of your right shoulder, make sure you're not caving in. Imagine someone's pressing against your left hand and you're pressing back at them. Feel that resistance. Inhale all the way back up. Heel toe your left foot out. Bend into your right knee. Reach your arms out wide. Right knee over the right ankle. Bend your elbows and reach your hands away from one another in opposite directions. And gently relax your shoulders. Draw them back. Exhale, slide your left hand down, reach your right arm up and over. Find a little back bend here, breathe into your side body. Inhale through center, reach both of your arms out, lengthen up. Exhale, right forearm to right thigh, reach your left arm over. Option to bring your right hand down or find a bind. The side doesn't have to look identical to the other side. It might feel a little different. So just really tune into your body and take what you need here. Inhale. 
Inhale, reach your arms out wide. Come all the way back up. Place your hands to your hips. Hop your back foot forward. Bring your toes slightly in. About 10 o'clock on the dial this time. Draw your left hip forwards and your right hip back. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Find length through your fingertips. Place your hands on your hips, straighten your front leg, square your hips, draw your left hip back and your right hip forwards, inhale reach high, exhale hinge through your hips, halfway down, and then lower all the way down, draw your forehead towards your knee, bring your right hip up and your left hip down. And decide if you want to stay here or if you want to go a little deeper you can come up and place your palms behind your back or just bring your fists to touch and lower through and staying strong through your legs here draw in your pelvic muscles engage your core draw the belly in breathe here Press into your feet, inhale all the way up. Turn your right toes to face the front, release your arms. Inhale, reach both of your hands up. Exhale, fold forwards. Shift from side to side. Release your head down. You have the option to stay here, or if you have inversions in your practice, you can start to come upside down. Maybe you wanna do a tripod headstand, maybe a traditional one, and just kind of tune into your body and move in a way that feels good for you. So if you're coming into a headstand, just make sure you're not crushing your head and that your neck is nice and long and you're shifting your weight forwards, engage your core, Maybe you come all the way up, maybe just halfway, or maybe you just shift your weight. If you're upside down, start to make your way onto the ground. Shake your head no, shake your head yes. Inhale, walk your hands out in front of you, gaze ahead. Place your hands to your hips and come all the way up. Step back to the top of your mat. Bring your feet hips width. And just sway from side to side. Let your arms be heavy. Allow yourself to gain some momentum and sway a little bit faster. And start to slow down, making your way back through stillness. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bend your knees, send your hips back, reach your biceps over your ears. Fold all the way in. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, release. Step back into downward facing dog. Reach your hips high, let your head be heavy. Bend one knee at a time, breathe into your legs. And keep pressing out of your shoulders. Reach both of your heels down. Inhale forwards, bend your knees and come all the way onto your mat. Walk your hips back in between your heels and take a seat. If this feels really intense, you can keep one leg straight and bring one foot in towards your hip. So do it one at a time rather than both of your feet at the same time. Reach your arms up. 
Bend your left arm and take a hold of your elbow with your right hand. And gently just press down. Breathe here. Release your left arm, reach your arms out, and then switch, bring your right arm behind you and gently press down with your left hand. Release your arms. Release your arms out in front of you. Press your hands onto your mat. Tuck your toes under and bring your knees hips width. Place your hands on your lower back. Draw your elbows together. Inhale, lift your heart. Gaze back. Imagine there's a string around your heart and someone's pulling it up, lifting you up. Gently release, tuck your tailbone in, interlace your fingers behind your back, draw your fists down, open your chest, breathe into your shoulders. Slowly release, come all the way back up. Reach your hands towards the ground and sit back towards your heels. We're going to be moving through a breathing exercise just to wake up the senses and wake up the body a little bit more, bring in some heat. Breathe in and out through your nose, a quick inhale and a quick exhale. Just focusing on your exhales and let your inhales just happen automatically. Pump your belly in each time you're exhaling. Find a nice rhythm here. Good, keep going. We'll do this for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a big breath in, into your belly, fill all the way in. Hold your breath at the top. Exhale all the way out. Inhale, fill in. Open mouth, exhale, draw your belly button in as you breathe out. Inhale, fill in. Hold your breath. Exhale all the way out. Drag out your exhale. Keep breathing like this. Big inhale all the way. Hold at the top. And breathe it all out. Return to your normal breath. Breathing a little deeper. Walk your hands forwards, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back. Walk back into your down dog, reach your heels down. Shift forwards into plank, bend your elbows and lower all the way down onto your mat. Press the tops of your feet down. Inhale, straighten your arms, lift your chest. And gently roll from one side to the other. One 
one more time, inhale, gaze out in front of you, exhale, release all the way down onto the mat, walk your hands back near your rib cage. inhale, press all the way up, option to stay here or you can press down through the tops of your feet so much that your legs hover above the ground. Draw your hips back towards your heels, your knees out wide, reach your forehead down. Soften your breath. Inhale, press up into your hands and knees. <clears throat> Shift your hips back. Walk your feet forwards towards your hands. Bend your knees and come all the way down into a seat. Place your hands by your sides and straighten your legs. Walk your hands behind you a little bit. Bring your fingertips to face the front of your mat. Lift through your chest, draw your shoulders back. Keep pressing down through your hands, rooting firmly and deeply through your sit bones. So don't allow yourself to slouch here. Really press. Take a big breath in, tuck your tailbone in, lift your hips. Engage your glutes. Keep lifting through your chest. Exhale, lower all the way down. Bend your knees and make your way down onto your back. Place your hands by your sides. Draw your knees in towards you and give yourself a big squeeze. Find a little roll from side to side. And gently start to straighten your legs, reach your feet up towards the sky. Maybe point and flex your toes a few times, circle your ankles, bring some movement in. Then just draw your toes in towards your face and keep pressing out of your heels option to stay here or you can draw your feet in towards your face and take a hold of the back of your legs or if you have plow in your practice you can bring your feet behind your head and lift your hips bringing your weight onto your shoulders Exhale, roll all the way down very slowly. Bend your knees and ground your feet. Straighten your legs all the way down. Inhale, reach your right knee in towards you. Draw in. Exhale, twist over to the left side. Reach your right arm out wide. Inhale, release. Draw your left knee in. Exhale, twist over to the right side. Release your left arm. And gently release. Straighten your left leg. Give your legs a little shake. And give yourself permission to just rest. We just moved a lot of energy. So just take a moment to let the energy kind of sink into your body and let it wash over you. Allowing yourself to breathe freely. But still keeping in mind your diaphragm. So breathing into that area right above your belly. So my camera just shut off before I was able to bring you out of Shavasana. So I'm going to leave you here for today. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me and for allowing me to guide you. It is always an honor. Namaste.
and I will see you next time. Also, if you enjoyed this type of class, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know in the comments so I know whether you'd like to do more of these in the future.